Lewinsky. No one in his professional life knew him and worked with him more closely than Brett Baer did. He, of course, hosts Special Report here on Fox and has for a long time, and he joins us tonight. Brett, thank you uh, for coming on. I, I, I know how close you were to Charles, and so I hesitate uh, even almost to ask you about it, um, but you're the person to talk to. If, if Sum him up to the extent you can. Yeah, Char uh, Tucker, thanks for having me. I'm sorry I'm out of pocket today, but of all days, um, it's tremendously sad. Uh, Britt was really eloquent in, in describing Charles. Uh, he was so wise, so brilliant, but also so caring and funny. A lot of people didn't know that part of him. He was really hysterical and could get people laughing. At the commercial breaks and special report on the panel, he owned the room. He was also really caring. He was the person who reached out first or one of the first every time my son had some open heart surgery or some some issue in the hospital. He wanted to know specifics. He wanted to know what the doctors said. He wanted to know. And uh, he was like that, not to mention all of the words and wisdom that will be his legacy uh, on every issue under the sun. Were those who knew him, me included, were so trained not to, I mean, he, he wanted to so de-emphasize his own injury and wanted to shift the attention away, not just from that, but from himself. I, I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. I mean, he seemed to want to be judged on television, correct me if you think I'm wrong, on the strength no, I think of you're right. his ideas. And you listen, it took me a yeah. long time to convince him to do that special where we sat for hours and hours and talked about his life. He, at first, was very uncomfortable about it. Uh, it surrounded, you know, when his book came out a few years back, Things That Matter, um, which I commend to people because it is really amazing to see his writings in his way. We have a special tomorrow night at 9 p.m. that are his words, as well as the words of people um, who remember him. And I think uh, people are really going to enjoy looking back at that. And in a moment where everyone wants to talk about himself nonstop and about the challenges they've overcome and blah, blah, blah. I mean, Charles was exactly the opposite. He did not want to talk about himself. I don't know if I know anyone else like that. What a wonderful quality. Zero. He, wanted, he didn't want to talk about it at all. He said there are so many issues that we could talk about. And he did it so well. You know, Tucker, he was he could get to the point better than anybody. He could cut through the noise. And no matter if you agreed with him or disagreed with him, he was somebody that he could just get to the point. And people really appreciated that. The panel dynamic, as you know, you were on the panel many times, was organic. It was a discussion. It wasn't planned out. That was Charles. He was no. an, an op-ed, essentially, every time he sat there. Yeah, but he was the axle around which it revolved. I don't think anybody spent more time on the set with him uh, than you did, that's for sure. Brett Baer, our condolences to you as well. And thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thanks, sir.